Hopefully you think the government, the federal government has really done its job because uh, we've enjoyed working with you, even though know, these are very trying times, but we've enjoyed it very much. Well, thank you. And if I could, Mr. President, I uh, want you to know the gratitude that for you. Uh, we're honored to have you here in the Lone Star State. I wish it were not under these circumstances. Uh, but we are able uh, to be where we are today in the aftermath of this catastrophic uh, storm that we faced. And it's really been two storms. It was a hurricane that turned into one of the most immense floods ever suffered by the United States. People's lives have been on the line. And I've been able to see firsthand your care and your compassion for the people of Texas. Uh, you, I've had the opportunity for, for, for those who only get to see what happens on the front lines. You need to know what happens behind the scenes. And behind the scenes, the, the president has shown both care, compassion, and direction and commitment from the very beginning uh, when the storm was still way out in the ocean. He helped Texas get prepared, uh, provided us every resource and tool that we needed so that we could have uh, a plan to respond to the catastrophe that was coming. And then after the hurricane came on shore and after the flooding began in Houston, uh, we were in communication either you and I almost every day or you and myself and your tremendous cabinet members who have been over backwards to assist us. And then on our flight from Corpus Christi to Austin, you could see his genuine compassion as we saw videos of what was going on in Houston, Texas, with the rising water and our fellow Texans suffering, the president was heartbroken about what he saw. And he's committed to ensuring that Texas will rebuild, because that's the American way. We take care of each other. We've seen that with Texans helping Texans, with Americans helping Americans. And Mr. President, we're stronger, better, and better prepared because of your leadership from the very beginning. I want to thank you. Thank you. And I want to just say hello. Elaine Duke is here someplace. Elaine, uh, fantastic job. And Brock has been uh, incredible. And from your standpoint, Nim and the whole group have been, and Steve, mm -hmm. I just met Steve. Uh, the job that they've done getting along. Number one, they like each other, very, very important. And number two, they respect each other. And the job that all of these groups have done getting along is, in terms of coordination, has been really incredible. And everyone's talking about it. The sad thing is that uh, this is long term. Nobody's ever seen anything this long, and nobody's ever seen this much water in particular. The wind was pretty horrific, but the water has never been seen like this to, this, to the extent. And uh, uh, it's uh, maybe someday going to disappear. We keep waiting. We have three of our great, four of our great congressmen right here, and we want to appreciate, we really appreciate you being here. We're going to be working with Congress on helping out the state of Texas. Uh, it's going to be a costly proposition because, again, uh, probably Ted Cruz is here. And Senator, thank you very much, Senator Cornyn. Uh, and we'll be working with these characters over here. <laughs> and I think we'll come through with a really you know, with the right solution. But uh, probably there's never been anything so expensive in our country's history. There's never been anything so historic in terms of uh, damage and in terms of uh, ferocity as, as what we've witnessed with Harvey. Sounds like such an innocent name, Ben, right? But it's not, it's not innocent. It's not innocent. I also want to thank my people. Uh, ben Carson, as you know, is here from HUD. And Linda is uh, Linda McMahon from Small Business. and I say this is not small business Linda this is big business when you add it all up you're going to be giving away many many millions of dollars to help people out and uh, Tom Price as you know is uh, Dr. Tom Price is uh, you have your people in the field Tom in fact uh, you may say a couple of words and then I'll ask Linda and I'll ask Ben and then I think we get on to Nim and to uh, Brock and everybody sure. Tom sure thanks Mr. President uh, as you said this is a, a historic proportion uh, storm and, and flood uh, the challenge that we have, obviously, is to get the resources to the individuals that are, that are stranded right now. Make certain that the evacuees have a place to go. 
uh, from a, a HHS standpoint, our responsibilities are medical and veterinary and, and mortuary, and there will be uh, all of the above. Uh, the challenge that we have in the long term is that uh, most individuals who suffer from these suffer from not being able to get the medical care that they need after the after the when the sun comes out. Uh, so trying to make certain that we've got pharmacies uh, staff, make certain that dialysis units are up, make certain that folks are getting the electricity to their homes and the oxygen oxygen concentrators and the like are able to be uh, able to be utilized. Um, and then just chronic disease, making certain that folks can get to their doctor when they are in their hometown. Uh, and get, get the treatment that they need. So, uh, but we're staffed up, ready to go. We've got uh, four uh, uh, federal uh, medical stations that are two uh, are up and running, uh, and the two on the way. And we've got uh, another four or five that are, uh, that are stationed beyond after that, depending on where folks see. And uh, the big ones. Yes, yeah, big ones. So I know. I know how big they are. Yeah, yeah. So thank you very much. We're here for you. Thank, thank you, Tom. Linda. Uh, well, SBA has its. Um, it's made disaster relief office in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So we have 900 people there permanently. We have 600 available in the surge. They'll be, uh, they're already coming in. Uh, I actually did get a note on the plane from Corpus that uh, we've made the first home loan uh, approval uh, from, you know, from this uh, disaster. So I was glad that we're already up and running. Uh, we'll be making home loans, business loans. Uh, we'll be making uh, loans for those folks who have lost income and also the opportunity to replace plant prop, property and equipment and inventories. So we're, we're up, ready to go. Thank you very much. And Ben Carson from HUD. Well, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, thank you for your leadership and, uh, and it's firstly also. Um, the compassion uh, permeates everything that's been done. It's been great working with everybody. And uh, Governor, I, I, one of the people that I admire the most. Thank, thank you for what you've been doing. Um, Brock is doing a fantastic job, and Elaine, everybody that we've been working with is fantastic. And what we've been trying to do is make sure that we go from the phase of, of, of rescue and reaction to the phase of recovery and a smooth transition. Uh, we're also going to be assisting the state and local governments in reallocation of federal assets to disaster relief. Uh, looking at granting an immediate uh, foreclosure relief, um, insurance, uh, mortgage insurance, as well as insurance for uh, rehabilitation uh, through the uh, Section 203K program, uh, Section 108 uh, loan guarantees for infrastructure, uh, for economic development, and for a host of things and also disseminating information, which is so critical. Uh, you know, the masses frequently become confused. Uh, we're working very uh, hard to get rid of some of the regulatory burdens so that we can get things done very quickly. <coughs> Linda and I will be working on that to make sure that uh, we get what we need to the people. And I want everybody to know that we're in this for the long run. We know that once the water recedes, that's where our work really begins, and we're going to be at it until we finish the job. Thank you, Ben, very much. I appreciate it. So, Nim, why don't you take over along with Brock, and we can go through some of the different things that we're going to be doing. Thanks, sir. You know, we've been going at this. Uh, this will be our third swing now. Mark, I've got a shirt. 